It's another major hit for parks and families in Henderson. So over the weekend, the playground at Cinnamon Ridge Park that was set on fire. Fox 5's Kim Passoff live tonight at that playground that's within Heritage Park. And Kim, just within the last year, several parks in Henderson have been seriously damaged. Yeah, from storms to vandalism, there has been a lot of damage. Tomorrow, there's going to be a fence going up around this playground. For now, though, there is this yellow caution tape here. And there's also that big hole you see that used to be connected to a plastic slide, but it melted in the fire. When the fire department got to Cinnamon Ridge Park Saturday afternoon, the playground was on fire. A slide, the special soft playground surface, the shade cover, all destroyed. Between 25 and $30,000 in total damages. After witnesses gave fire investigators descriptions of the suspects, a 15-year-old boy and 13-year-old girl were located an hour later and arrested for third-degree arson. Both teens were released to their parents. Now neighborhood kids who use the playground will have to go elsewhere. Total time for the repairs we're looking at um, at least two months. This is not the first park damaged by fire. On New Year's Day, someone set the playground at Reunion Trails Park on fire. The damage there, at least $100,000. Vandalism has been an ongoing issue throughout city of Henderson Parks. Just in the last couple of weeks, we've had uh, graffiti. Uh, we get a lot of people that come in and drive on, on the grass. From graffiti at Rodeo Park to people driving in the grass at Hidden Falls Park, Mission Hills Park, and Acacia Park, it costs the city and taxpayers thousands. Just recently at one of the parks we've had uh, some, someone come into the park in the evening and kick off the sprinkler heads while they're, they're running. The cost to replace each sprinkler head at River Mountain Park, 40 to $50 a piece. And last month, wicked weather ripped through the Arroyo Grande Sports Complex, throwing around the bleachers, uprooting trees, knocking over fencing, and leaving flooding behind. And instead of working on beautifying the parks, they have been working on all of these repairs. The man manager of the Henderson Parks and Rec tells me that their job is already difficult in the summertime because of the heat. So to have extra work piled on top of it, it makes it that much more difficult. Reporting live tonight in Henderson, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.